Emma Storm team meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Dave, have you seen Matthew? He's been everywhere. I haven't like. seen him yet. Maybe we'll go to a coffee shop and just turn around and be like, oh, hey, how's there it going? He is. <laughs> uh, well, hey, I'm sure he doesn't like the rain and severe weather we've had here the last couple of days. We do have some stronger storms out there this morning. Just some light rain in uh, Hoover right now from our Hyatt Regency camera there at the Winfrey. Not looking too bad. Temperatures currently coming in 66 degrees. We do have a little muggy air still across much of the area, but bigger storms you can see here. Uh, some in Tuscaloosa, but more so down there across part of Hale County to Bibb County. Now uh, temperatures running from 71 in Birmingham to 66 in Coleman, 65 Gadsden, and it's in 66 Fayette, 68. All those areas dry, but here are the bigger storms. A lot of lightning, very heavy rain, maybe some small hail. Marion over toward the Brent area. This will work its way toward Maplesville, Jemison, and Clanton. This storm is headed your way, and as it moves that way, it's going to bring some pretty good downpours. You can see getting toward Thorsby, they're around 618 this morning. Low max around 622 over toward Clanton, around 626. Six and over towards, say, Parnell around 628. So bigger storm headed your way into Chilton County now. Here in the metro area, we've seen a little bit of some lightning, but just some light rain showers across much of Jefferson and Shelby counties right now over toward, uh, say, Childersburg, a little more rain there. Heaviest rain's been to the north and south of Birmingham so far. We had only picked up a tenth of an inch of rain yesterday and not much out there so far this morning. Most of these bigger storms, again, staying just to the south. There's a boundary or front kind of sitting right over top of the region here, and it's just to the south of that we've seen that severe weather breaking out and potential for some tornadoes even there to the south of a new tornado watch down toward the Mobile area just popping up now. So we do have that risk of severe weather. Level one here, level two, the best chance will be over South Alabama. We could see a couple storms producing some large hail and maybe some damaging winds out there for the day today on top of that heavy rain that flood watch in effect till seven o'clock tonight. So not looking great for that workout outdoors today. You may want to be in the gym versus outside with our temperatures in the 80s this afternoon. So there's our initial batch of rain kind of just to the south here through 7 o'clock, kind of drifting its way toward Alabaster and Calary here by lunchtime. We'll continue working its way through the region this afternoon. Maybe Birmingham could finally see some rain then. And as we head to the evening hours, things start to improve for us. And overnight into tomorrow morning, we'll start off with some cloud cover, but rain to our west will eventually start to work its way to the region. And then tomorrow we do have a risk, a low end risk here for severe weather in Birmingham. A little better chance, though, you can see a Tuscaloosa Brent area back down to Montgomery for damaging winds and hail. And you'll see those storms be rolling in during the morning hours there Friday and then tapering off to some scattering of storms by Friday afternoon where temperatures get to about 87 degrees. Then as we head into Saturday, how about 91 out there? Not much in the way of rain. Father's Day, we're looking at another round of some strong, possibly severe storms, 87, and then they continue into Monday for any kind of Juneteenth celebrations. Kristen.